Hi, I'm Jordan Gaskell and today I just want to quickly discuss with people about the current coronavirus situation. I'm going to focus mainly on the mask bullying. But that's something that's, well, as a result of a recent event today and an event that I met a mate messaged me on tonight as well, which like an hour before my experience, it's something I wanted to go into. I'm going to be going to everything though, from the fans to Boris's speech to the media on it, everything. Really, best I can, a quick overlay of everything. But uh, the mask bullying, I think, is the main thing I want to start with and get out of the way because that's one of the main issues I want to address. Obviously, I'm not very happy with what's been going on with mask bullying recently. I've had a mate message me uh, recently who's saying he's gone into a shop, basically, and they've said that uh, although he had an exemption card and all that, they've kicked him out and all for not wearing a mask. And the worst part is that he's gone in with... An ex a valid exception card to be kicked out by someone who's not wearing a mask. So a member of staff without a mask removed my friend from a shop who had a valid exception card for not wearing a mask. You see the issue here. If you have a valid exception card, you showed me the card. Oh, it's it's fan. It has a valid exception card. It's fan. And, uh, but he's been kicked out anyway. And I, I've recently had an issue with this. I mean, I've got on the buzz. I sneezed once this entire day, and that was on the buzz, unfortunately. I've got on the buzz. Just before I went upstairs, I sneezed. Uh, happens, I guess. And uh, as soon as I'm going upstairs, I can literally hear two people on the buzz shouting and kicking off of the driver, saying, Get him off the buzz! Get him off the buzz! He sneezed! Did you hear him? He sneezed! And I'm just thinking to myself, Why? What is actually wrong with you? Now, I understand there's concerns for safety with this virus, but I've sneezed once today, and you're demanding that I'm kicked off the bus for it, and shouting and bawling your head off at the bus driver. The bus driver responded with his audio in the bus, there's nothing I can do, even if I wanted to, which, fairly neutral response, to be fair. Well done to him. But that's the response that was for me just sneezing once, I remember in society when if you sneezed, people said, bless you, not, get him off the buzz. So, you see the issue. A little bit irritated there, that this is how society's gone. This is, I saw this when this coronavirus happened, we all had to endure all this. I thought it'd be a good thing for strengthening people. For his unity, for getting together. But it's coming to a point now where it's just dividing people even more. It's coming to a system where snitching on friends is encouraged, a system where you are bullying people and yelling at people for not having a mask. I mean, I remember another point. Uh, I was on the bus. I'm actually exempt from wearing a face covering. I do have a valid exception card under hidden disabilities. It comes under. That's my valid exception card. Plus, I have the official Government UK one downloaded on my phone as well as of my legal rights. Now, I'm exempt from wearing a face covering. I've gone on the bus before, and I'm going to start kicking off. Well, anyone can print them. And all, you shouldn't be allowed to not wear a mask on, no matter what. And again, what gives you the right to kick off with people like that? It's not your place to start kicking off and degrading people for not wearing a face covering. Now, I do believe it's a real virus, don't get me wrong. And I do believe there is a lethality. Even if the lethality of it is exaggerated, I do believe that. I mean, with the media, a man could literally get hit by a train when they say he died of coronavirus at this point. The reason why all the other diseases, heart attack, deaths and all that went down is because of the fact that, well, yeah, everything was coronavirus all of a sudden. I believe it is harder to distinct the coronavirus because the symptoms are literally as common as the symptoms for a common cold. But it's not a valid reason really to, what's the word, start bullying people and finding people and all that just for having a uh, chance of them having the virus. There is the possibility that they may have the virus, yes. There's no reason to start bullying people into it. In the media, I've exaggerated it to be a lot more deadly than it actually is, I'd say. I do believe it's real. I do believe we should be cautious with the virus, but I do believe it has been exaggerated. But if you look at the lethality rate, even, even 90 plus, that's only when it starts getting more concerning. It's 14% lethality rate. Anyone, and if you're under 18, your lethality rate is probably looking about 0.3 chance of death. So that's 97.7% .7 of people surviving who are under 18. You've got a higher chance at times seriously of just being hit by a buzz or a heart attack for even when you get older. Your, your chances of death are still a lot more likely to so many other things it could be. The media have exaggerated it and I'm not very happy with how the media scared everyone with this virus. 
I do believe it's been used a bit to push other agendas here and there as well. Boris can use it to his advantage in places. Obviously, you don't hear about Brexit anymore, but we're still in the transition period. He did a good deal with Japan not long back. Very happy with that. But I do believe Boris has to be very careful of what he's doing. I'm not happy with some of the things he is pushing. Threatening to bring the army in, like he said in his speech, that was inappropriate. Uh, I would say, and threatening fans up to £10,000 for not social distancing and following the COVID guidelines. It's become very authoritarian, and I am very let down with Boris. You're doing well for Brexit, Boris, but with how many other things you have let me down with at the moment, I am very disappointed. I do understand you have other things, you have family, you have other responsibilities, and you are working tirelessly. Tire tirelessly. I can't, I can't, sorry, I can't announce my words at the moment. Uh, point is, he's been working very heavily, uh, Boris, but still there's a lot of places where he's made a lot of mistakes and I'm very very unhappy his rules have been very hypocritical I mean for, I've got a list here of some of the rules you can eat in restaurants that's okay hunting in a big group's okay classrooms are okay and schools and all that where you can mingle with hundreds of people but if you're out with more than six friends that's not okay no it's just no in a billion ways What's wrong with that? It just doesn't make sense, these rules. They're beyond hypocritical. Your speech, Boris, more or less says you can do that, but you can't do that. So you're telling us two different things, more or less, half the time. His speeches need simplifying and he needs a clear set of instructions. It's a complicated time, I won't deny that. But I do believe it has been exaggerated quite a lot by the media across the world, not just our country. Well, nevertheless, it is a real virus and we should be cautious. In terms of masks, I do, I don't feel you should be fanned for not wearing them and the restrictions. I mean, the buzz rule to begin with, when it was in the main situation with the virus, you didn't need a, a mask on a buzz. What now you do, when it was in the main first lockdown, you didn't until after the load restrictions. Didn't make sense, okay? It didn't make sense. Now, I believe masks, hand sanitizer should have to be available. I'm fine with it having to be available in all shops and all that, but you shouldn't have to make people wear a mask. Having all shops forced to have paper masks not available when they go in, I can live with that. Hand sanitizer, you have to put on. I can live with that even. But forcing people to wear them, and if they don't, they get a fan. Not right. Have mass availability of these items, but do not enforce them. I do believe these fans as well, because Boris, you have done damage to the economy with how you've done, done with, dealt with Corona. You've damaged the economy terribly. That's why you're opening restaurants and all that fan, but anything that people need, you know, socially for their own mental health. When it comes to that, obviously you don't open it as much. So the issue is here, you're trying to revive the economy, but at the same time save a few lives. Which I'd rather you be a bit more honest about, but you've just not handled it very well, I would say. I mean, forcing masks and all is, as I said, it shouldn't be need to be done, but ten, up to, fans up to £10,000, it's going to boost your economy back up, isn't it, when people get fans like that? So I do believe you have considered the economic measures of this, and it is quite an authoritarian stance that you've took, and I am very unhappy with it. I believe enforcing masks, in my perspective, is very anti-freedom, and it goes very much against what I stand for. It should be mass availability, but not enforced. Now, let's have a see. Is there anything I haven't gone over? So I just got a book here, read up all my notes and all. Just make sure I cover everything. The police as well. I would want to cover that a little bit. I mean, the police. Now they have gone into to my extent, and I don't like. I'm not a conspiracist. You don't see me involved in much. You don't see me involved with anti vax You don't see me involved with 5G. Many things you don't see me involved in. I'm nothing against people who do. It's just not really where I'm involved. I'm not a conspiracist. I don't believe in many conspiracies. But this is coming to a point where it is more true than ever. We are heading towards the police state, a authoritarian system, where you are saying that you're going to bring in the army if people don't wear masks and stay two meters distance from each other, Boris. That's not appropriate. Yeah, as I said before, I am very unhappy with him threatening the army that. I've gone on a bus before now, and you've got the police coming upstairs and all downstairs and upstairs, checking every single passenger before they left to see if they've got a mask. Mill's getting very I know from someone there who's let me know already, a staff member there, what a security guard said to me, that the police have already found people inside the building for not wearing a mask. It is beyond a joke. 
the police are effectively a modern Gestapo now, in my opinion, because that is exactly what it seems to be. They are repeating the same lessons of history, are repeating right up front of us. This must stop, Boris. Brexit's the only thing that's keeping you in power. You don't get us out by WTO rules or a proper hard Brexit like I'd prefer by the end of this year. If you extend the transition period, Boris, you will lose the next election, and that is a promise, and you will lose my full support. The police, when they said they're just following orders, even when you talk to the police who issue these fans, that's literally the same thing the Nazi Gestapo said. It's the same thing that was said in the Neumannberg trials by the Nazis. It's not appropriate. I'm not blaming the police strictly though, but I'm just saying that it's repeating lessons of history. I'm very unhappy with how Boris has dealt with things. And one thing I would say in society, people need to stop this mask bullying. You shouldn't be forced to wear a mask. And you should definitely not be there snitching on people for hanging out with more than odd people. I mean, as I said, literally, a friend of mine kicked out of shop because he weren't wearing a mask with a valid exception card. You can't physically see what's wrong with some people. I am exempt from wearing a mask. Some people generally are, and they don't need to explain their reasons to the public if they don't want to do. They have that right. But instead, so many people are obsessed with forcing others. And I don't believe it for a lot of them, they're trying to say it's for the good community. Some of them maybe you do generally just want what's good and think it's for the best. Although I don't agree with you one bit. Some people think that. But some people, I feel, they just feel powerful when they belittle people. For having a different point of view, for having uh, what they think's right, what they think's wrong, for having mental or physical disabilities. This is the problem. I don't like that many people to begin with because this is how society is. But right now, there's people with their own disabilities who can't wear a mask. And the last thing they need is you bullying them and screaming at them and calling them for not wearing a mask. This level of discrimination is uncalled for. I think that's all I need to really say for this video. But I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you can to help this video grow and help my channel grow to inform more people of what I think is right and wrong and better for the nation. I hope you can all stand with me. That'll be all for this video. Stay safe and I'll see you all next time.